Hi everyone, welcome to a very special tutorial Independence Day Photo Manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan. Welcome to HarshwardhanArt.com. This is a very special tutorial because tomorrow on 15th August we are celebrating our Independence Day. So I decided to make this Independence Day photo manipulation in Photoshop. And this is not a step by step tutorial but this is a behind the edit tutorial where I will show you what steps exactly I took in order to make this photo manipulation. So without further ado, let's get started. If you download all the resources file which I used in this tutorial you can download that from the link in the description section below so let me just do this let me turn off all the layers as you can see that I have started with this image this is a cloud image and thereafter I placed one image of this this is a let me show you this is the image of a mountain or you can say valley and what i did i just dragged it down maybe something like this and created a mask and then using the gradient tool i clicked and drag it so that the hard edge of this is just gone with this mask and thereafter I applied one Gaussian blur to this so that it blurs it out and thereafter I lower down its opacity to around 53% okay so that it mixes with the background so that we don't see much of it so that it looks like there, there is something in this scene and thereafter what I did I just created one blank layer what is okay so it's not doing anything I created one light layer you can see so I created a blank layer and using the brush tool I created a stroke and then I press ctrl T command T and I scaled it up so that this light is spread all around it okay so this is I have this is how I edit this light and thereafter I place the shark image so let me show you this is the shark image and I applied a Gaussian blur to this so earlier it was very sharp you can see and I applied a Gaussian blur of around 1.8 pixels so that it gets a little bit blurry and thereafter I created one curves adjustment and I you can see I clicked in the middle and drag it down and thereafter I inverted this mask by pressing ctrl I command I and then with the soft edge brush with the white color I painted over certain areas so that it only affects only this part alright and thereafter I created one more adjustment layer curves adjustment layer and this time you can see I dragged in the middle and dragged it up so what it did it basically add some light and then I pressed ctrl I to invert this mask so it becomes a black and hides everything and again with the soft edge brush what I did I just painted over on the edges because uh, this scene is backlit so we have to have some light on the edges or you can call that rim light and then I created one color balance adjustment layer so that it mixes with the background or just added it some little bit of redness to the image so you can see in the mid tone I uh, choose the value minus 5 and in the magenta minus 4 and in the shadows and in the highlights I have not touched the highlights only mid tone and you can see the yellow I have added it plus 8 to this so that we get some this kind of a color grading so you can see we have placed the shark over here all right and thereafter what I did I just created one smoke brush or the smoke with the smoke brush I just painted over it and then I just applied the Gaussian blur to this so that it becomes a little bit blurry and thereafter I place the boy and let me just turn off all the layers and show you so what I did first I placed the boy I scaled it down and removed it from the background and placed it over here and then I added this flag image and I just extracted it from the background and I took only the part of the flag and just placed it over here so you can see I just placed it over here and thereafter I created one shadow 
under the boy as you can see at this time it looks like that he is floating but moment i created some shadow and how you can create the shadow just create a blank layer and choose the softest brush and with the black color and 10 percent opacity you can just paint with the brush tool to create some shadows all right and thereafter i created one curves adjustment i grouped this boy okay and created one curves adjustment and i again you can see i clicked in the middle and drag it down to create this shadow and thereafter i selected the brush soft as brush and with the black color i painted on certain part of the boy so that this area becomes little bit darker because light is coming from the back side and this is how i added this little bit of shadow and then i created one more curves adjustment or color balance adjustment so that it mixes with the uh, overall scene or with the particularly the sharp okay and then i created one more curves adjustment and this time i clicked in the middle and drag it down to create a darkness you can see and then i just painted in the middle so that it just doesn't make the center dark and it creates a vignette effect and thereafter i lower down its opacity to around 74 percent and thereafter i used my cyan and orange look photoshop action yeah, the, uh, i think this one teal and orange look and this just gave it uh, this kind of a color grading and thereafter what i did i created one more of this using the cross processing in the filter neck collection and selecting the color efx pro and i selected this cross processing filter and from this i selected this preset c04 and lower down its strength to something like 18 percent and thereafter i pressed ok i have already applied it so i'm not going to apply it over here so this is how i got this kind of a little bit of darkness color darkness in the color and then i created one selective color adjustment layer and in this i selected the red color and change its position of the slider cyan magenta yellow minus minus five minus 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 seven and then i selected the yellow and then uh, cyan okay in the cyan i have selected plus 26 plus 10 minus 32 and 40 and then i selected the blue color and in the blue i also adjust this plus 21 minus 23 and this is how i got little bit this kind of a color grading and then i decided that since it was looking a little bit uh, incomplete and i was feeling that there is something missing from this and i couldn't find anything to place over here so i decided that i'm gonna put some clouds over here so you can see i placed these clouds so i basically created place this cloud over here and then duplicated it and resized it and rescaled it and then this one placed over one over here one over there and one over there and i just blurred them out a little bit and then i lower down its opacity to around 92 percent so that's how they become little bit of transparent plus little bit soft and then i created one sun so you can see little bit light over here so how i did i created a new blank layer and created one dot let me show you uh, with the white color i placed one dot and press ctrl t command t and just rescaled it to something like this and then created one more and this time i selected the orange color and created once and then scaled it up to something like this and then change their layer blend mode to screen both of their blend mode to screen and then what i did i placed them in the appropriate position over here and just lower down their opacity all right so let me just undo it because i don't want these to be here all right and uh, finally i created one hue and saturation layer as you can see if we zoom in on the face you can see there is a little bit of 
yellow color over here so what i did i created a hue and saturation layer selected this hand tool and picked this color so it selected that color and then i use these hue and saturation to match it with the rest of the skin tone so let me just undo it okay so this is how i removed it from the the yellow or paleness from the skin and then i created one more blank layer and over here i again created some smoke using the smoke brush if you don't know how to create the smoke brush there is a video on my channel or on my website just find that out how to create your own smoke brush and you'll find this or if you want to download this smoke brush you can download that as well from the link in the description section below and then after i created one exposure layer you can see this is the exposure layer and in the properties what i did i increased the gamma correction to 0.94 so what it did it basically added some contrast to the image and then what i did using the softest brush with the black color i painted in the middle so that it doesn't affect the middle area and it creates a vignette effect so that our, our entire focus remains on the boy and thereafter i placed the birds you can see over here these are the birds i placed and what i did i applied a little bit gaussian blur so that they become a little bit unfocused or not that sharp so you can see they were very sharp and after i applied the origin blur they became out of focus so that's how we can add little bit of realism to the image and that's it this is how finally we have achieved this result so once again if you want to download all of these resource files which i used in this or stock files in which i used in this image you can download that from the link in the description section below and once again happy independence day to everyone thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and please consider sharing this video with others and if you like the video please hit the like button so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you bye bye